Finally in Truist Park, Atlanta, Georgia. Been a big series of first place teams, the Atlanta Braves and the San Francisco Giants. And the finale of this three-game series today. Right now, the Braves sitting four and a half up over the Phillies. Both the Phillies and the Mets won last night, while the Braves, of course, lost to the Giants last night. So the key number there, five in the loss column. The Braves are up on the Philadelphia Phillies, four and a half overall. And we welcome you back as we make our way to first pitch. And look who decides to join us. <laughs> Jeff Francoeur, our colleague, our teammate for MLB postseason, that also does the Atlanta Braves. So we just spent all this time on the Giants. How about we hit you with the Atlanta Braves? My number one question with Atlanta, and I ask everybody who's associated with the ball club, how did this team rally up after Acuna's injury? What what do you think some of the some of the tipping points in that success? Well, guys, uh, first off, awesome to be with you all. Looking forward to two weeks. I'm with you again. But, right. uh, you know, look, this team at the end of the day lost a superstar. You're not going to replace Ronald Acuna. You don't just replace him and, and go to the next guy. But what they did was they went out and got three or four different pieces that made the lineup deep. The Braves last year came up one game short of the Dodgers. Why? Because their lineup one through eight could hit the ball out of the park at any time. Now, all of a sudden, they're being able to do that, and the bullpen also, since about June 1st, has finally started to stabilize, Ronnie, and they're winning some ball games. You know, when I look at their team, Frenchie, from afar, I just see the infield, um, even though the outfield's been in flux all season long, the infield's been there every single day. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about the infield, and in particular, Austin Riley. Well, look at those numbers. It's the best. Since the All-Star break, it's been the best infield in baseball. And, and Austin Riley, who we'll talk about in a minute, showing you at the end, has been the MVP of this team. But, look, the reigning MVP, Freddie Freeman, got off to a bad start for six weeks. Now the guy's just crushing it. He's doing what he does. He hits the ball to left field. And then Ozzie Albies, maybe not the high average, but the guy can hit some big home runs. He drives and runs, and he plays gold glove defense at second base. So you got to love what he's been able to do. And then Dansby Swanson got off to a bad start this year. This guy's playing great. You know, he's got one more year to free agency, but he's been consistent every day. And then this guy for me, guys, is the MVP of the Braves this year. He has been able to hit the ball all parts of the field, which we'll show you in a minute. But Travis Darno, Marcelo Zuna go out first week of May. He comes in behind Freddie Freeman and has given him, and this is what makes him, Ronnie. <laughs> oh, man. This is one of the most impressive spray charts you could have. Well, he's so big and strong that he's finally figured out that he can let the ball travel, get it last night face Logan Webb. He was nasty. He was the only guy. He lined it down left field line, smoked one to right center. So Austin Riley has been the MVP for this Braves team, and he's going to get some MVP votes, mm. too, in the National League. Yeah, I think Tatis, if Tatis stays healthy, he's a runaway to win that award, but Riley uh, compares favorably. He looks like one of the best third basemen in, in all of baseball, actually. So um, question marks now. Bullpen. Late bullpen, especially. Will Smith, the Georgia native. He's from Atlanta. He's getting the job done. He's closing games, but it's been a wild ride at times. You know who I say he reminds me of, and you'll remember because you called my games with the Mets, but Francisco Rodriguez. Oh, oh yeah. He gets one or two guys on every game. The fans are going crazy, you know, but all of a sudden, he's able to get out. If he's got a 6-4 lead, we win 6-5. If it's 5-3, you win 5-4, but... It's a tough gig. The closers in baseball, he's only given up four, you know, lost four saves. So, But that's, to me, going to be the thing. Can they, if the starters get them through five or six, can they hold that lead? It's gonna, That'll be the interesting thing for this team. It's great to be with you again, man. We're all together again. Yeah, the three amigos. yeah two and weeks. And we'll see you in the postseason. Yeah. And you'll be back in two weeks. Yep. Frenchie's going to join us. We don't know where we're going yet. <laughs> we'll let you know. Hopefully be able to buy a dinner for us. <laughs> no, no chance at that. <laughs> Making our way to first pitch, Giants-Braves on a sunny Sunday in the South. Stay with us.